Panther Magazine, the Panther Platform Lookbook and the official publication for the Panther Platform. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Derek McCartwell here, the founder and CEO of Panther Magazine. Thanks for checking out today's YouTube video. So as you guys can see, I no longer have the 1998 Crown Victoria LX. Um, the previous video is kind of the backstory behind that car and how I got this car. It was pretty much a trade. Again, the guy I bought the Crown Vic from. Um, he's a Panther guy. He had a bunch of Panthers and He's seen everything I was doing with the magazine and how much I've been driving it around and going to meets. And I mean, just being a Panther enthusiast, he just genuinely missed his car. Um, and he wanted it back. And something told me I was going to get it back when I bought it from him. Uh, about two years later, maybe a couple weeks ago, he um, bought a 2003 Mercury Grey Marquis and we traded. I gave him the Vic back. I took the Merc. It's now registered in my name and legal. I've been driving it to and from work for almost a week now, and it's great. I love so this car here is a lot different um, compared to the, the Panthers I have driven so far. This is my fifth Panther. I've had a 2000. I've, I've had two 2000 Grand Marquis, a 95 Aero, and my previous Panther was a 98 Crown Vic LX. And this is my fifth one, again, a 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis GS. Um, I've heard from a bunch of guys in the community, these are like the best Panthers to buy, the 03, especially for Grand Marquis, and um, mainly because of suspension. And um, there was a few other things I'm kind of drawing the blink. But I can tell you right now, driving the Vic for two years and driving it to about eight different states, um, I love the Crown Vic. But there's a big difference in handling and suspension on these cars, especially the old three. Um, it's kind of night and day, just a feeling and drive. It's crazy. Uh, the Crown Vic had a little bit more playing the steering wheel, more like an older car, a big body boat. Uh, I had the 68 Wildcat before I bought my first Panther. And the steering wheel and the Vic kind of reminded me of that. But this here is like, I can't even describe it. It drives really smooth and the steering and handling is just immaculate. It feels like you're really driving a boat. So the car is not really modded. Um, it came with two, um, 2010 Mustang GT wheels. They're pretty clean. I mean, they're chipped up a little bit on some of them. 
you can't really see unless you get close. Um, I do plan to get them repainted in the spring, but right now for the winter, I'm not really worried about it. I'm actually thinking about painting the wheels white. I think that would be cool. That's something I don't think I've seen, especially with Mustang wheels on the Panther, I don't think I've seen white ones. So if I can find someone that can paint them white and paint them really good, I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, there's no exhaust system. Other than that, it's pretty stuck. I mean, I'll show you guys the interior, but I mean, the wheels is probably the biggest um, modification on this car. Um, the headlights also, I'll show you guys that as well. Those are LEDs and not OEM headlights. So uh, let's check out the interior. So we're in the inside of the 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis GS. The heat is on blast, the heat cranks, the AC cranks. As you can see, there's an aftermarket Pioneer head unit. I also have two 12 inch subs in the trunk. So the system is really knocking. Um, again, there's no exhaust, but I have a system now. So that kind of makes up for it. Um, I got the car really at 172, I think. And I've been, I have a pretty decent commute to and from work. So now it's at 174, 210 which isn't bad, especially for a Panther. Um, yeah, and everything's pretty much stopped. Let's turn the light on here. Um, Panthers United stickers, New England Vicks. My guys here in uh, Massachusetts that hang out with the Panthers, that's their sticker. And Panthers United is the uh, subdivision of Panther Magazine. Um, we actually had a section at Ford Nationals um, if you're new to the channel and haven't seen the video back in June, we had about 26, almost 30 Panthers uh, show up. And the Panther platform had their own section for the first time in a long time. Um, MercuryMarauder.net, they usually have a section every year. So those are usually the only Panthers. I mean, there's Panthers here and there, but I mean, for us to have our own section, it was pretty cool, um, but that'll be another video um, because Ford Nationals is about five or six months away. So, but yep, this is the Grand Marquis. I love that the steering wheel. No lights on the dash. There's no problems with the car, man. It's crazy. Um, interior is pretty clean. I just vacuumed it. I mean, I could use a detail, but I mean, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean, man have the original booklets here. Didn't know I had these until before I started the video. Um, they're in good shape too. It's pretty cool to have these in the car. And it seems like a pamphlet. I didn't even know that's freaking cool. That's sick, I'm gonna have to read through that tonight. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the interior. I mean, got LED lights up here, so it's not like normal lighting here. Um, I kind of want to change those to maybe like purple or green, but this is the interior, pretty clean. Again, it could use a detail, um, but that's nothing I'm worried about. It's the winter time, so definitely before the spring, I start before I start going to meet. Uh, I'm not really sure the story behind how this car was found. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was a southern car before it got to the guy who my friend Andrew bought it from. I think this car was in the south for a while. Um, there's really no rust underneath. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna show you guys the trunk now and show you guys the uh, sound system too that goes with the uh, with the head unit. Got the Mercury Grand Marquis GS trunk. I love the um, Mercury emblem on these years. There's a, they're a lot different than the older, um, the older Mercs. Uh, it's really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the trunk. I have a lot of magazine stuff in here. But that's the subwoofer there. Pioneer, go with the head unit. Um, see if I can play some tunes for you guys. So the stock speakers are pretty good. And the subwoofers are pretty good. Cool. 
that's not really the music I listen to when I'm driving. But I mean, you guys get the idea. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's no exhaust on here. Um, it's really quiet, like a Panther is. That's one of the main. That's one of the things I think we overlook as Panther enthusiasts. A lot of us put straight pipes and um, cat deletes and stuff. We want the car to sound loud, move a little bit quicker and faster. You know, supercharged and stuff. But we really, I don't think we under. I think we underestimate how quiet these cars are. It's kind of weird, actually. They're almost as quiet as a hybrid car. I mean, my last car was straight piped with a cat delete and a Flowmaster 44, and this car is stock. So sometimes I forget that it's on. So, but I'm thinking thrush mufflers um, to give it just a little bit of noise. I don't want it to be too loud because I feel like the Grand Marquis is more of a luxurious car compared to the Crown Vic. I've seen some Grand Marquis with some some nice exhaust systems like Hoonmerk, my friend Hoonmerk. His car has a muffler delete, a cat delete, it's straight piped, and I believe there's a Flowmaster on there. And it looks cool, but I think I don't want to put too much noise on this one. Um, just a little bit, so a thrush muffler is something I might do. That's something I'm thinking about. And then of course, Considering this is a 2003, I'm thinking about a Marauder swap, the grill and maybe the back bumper and the front bumper. And with that, I'm thinking if I do swap the front bumper and the back bumper with the Marauder bumpers, I can paint those bumpers the same color as the actual paint on the car, which will make it look really cool and different uh, instead of painting the car black or, you know, silver birch or something just keeping it all the same color, but just a dip the Marauder grill bumper in the bumpers. Um, maybe even Marauder wheels for the spring, if I can find some good ones. I mean, the Mustang wheels look cool, but if I can use these for the winter, I have some Marauder wheels for the spring. Oh man, I think that would be awesome. So yeah, this is my 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis. I love it very comfortable my first panther with cloth seats um all my panthers have had leather seats so that's pretty cool too big shout out to the guys in carolina crown vicks for the decals got a few other panther clubs sending me decals so i'm just sticker bomb my uh my grand marquee i'm gonna show you guys under the hood so here's under the hood. Um, it's pretty clean. It's really quiet. These batteries last forever. It's pretty rare to have one of these in the car already. Um, so I don't have to worry about the battery for a while. Um, but yeah, everything's clean under here. Uh, I'm still learning a lot about under the hood stuff, to be honest. Um, from what I was told, this here, I think this is the throttle body, maybe. I could be wrong, but this is more of a police throttle body. So acceleration is more like right off the line compared to like older Panthers, which is another reason why people like the 2003. Um, and why people say the 2003 year was the best year for the Grand Marquis. Um, everything else under here is, is really clean, I mean, yeah so that's today's video guys uh thanks for checking it out uh, i've been wanting to do this video for a few days now kind of been procrastinating working on other things um i don't have all my equipment with me so unfortunately i'm not actually in the video but i mean it's more about the car anyways so thanks for checking it out um i might do another junkyard run and try to see what OEM parts I can get for this. And that may be another video. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. And thanks for checking out the Panther Magazine YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys soon.